let us talk about the convex lens. This is the convex lens with the principal axis. If the object is kept at infinity, then the image is at the focus. Likewise, we have object at infinity, image on focus. Same way, we take the reverse. We have again the convex lens. And now, we have kept the object O at focus. And the image is at infinity. So, object on focus, image at infinity. Now, let us see the use of the convex lens. But before that, let us talk about the visual angle of the object alpha. Suppose you have an object A, B. If you see it with your naked eye, then you have the visualizing angle alpha. And the distance is D. So you have AB is the object. Alpha is the vision angle and capital D is the visualizing distance. Tan of alpha is equal to AB upon D. Double convex lens. We have the principal axis. We have the focus on both the sides. That is the focal length F with O as the optical center. We use it in a simple microscope, which is nothing but a magnifying glass. Let us see the ray diagram of a simple microscope. Let us have the convex lens. That's the eye lens, we call it. We have the object AB within the focus of the lens. First of all, we have a ray passing to the optical center, which is produced with a dotted line on the other side. We have a line which is parallel to the principal axis, which refracts through the double convex lens and we have a virtual image. So that's the object distance U and A dash B dash is the image at a distance V. If you see through the eye, the visualizing angle is beta here. Tan of beta is equal to A dash B dash upon B, which is equal to A B upon U also. Now, let us see what is angular magnification or the magnifying power M. So, you have the visualizing angle of the object alpha. You have the visualizing angle beta, when it passes through the lens, the capital M, the magnifying power is defined as the visual angle of the image upon the visual angle of the object, which is beta upon alpha, which is nothing but almost equal to tan beta upon tan alpha. But we know tan beta is AB upon U, tan alpha is AB upon D, which is equal to D upon U then. So the magnifying power capital M can be D upon U. Now let's look at the compound microscope. This is a compound microscope. We have two lenses in the compound microscope. The one which is near the eye 
is now this is near the object so that's the objective and the one near the eye is the eye lens let us look at the ray diagram of the compound microscope this one is the objective the second one is the eye lens now we have to keep the object near the objective let's see where this one is a focal length of the objective f f dash is a focal length of the eye lens now let us keep the object near the objective between f and 2f we have a ray passing through the optical center again one more ray parallel to the principal axis which is making an image i so i is a real inverted and magnified object image which is the object for the eye lens now now again you have rays passing through the optical center and produced with a dotted line on the other side and we have got a ray parallel to the principal axis crossing the principal axis and produced on the other side with dotted line and having an image there and this image i dash is the virtual inverted and magnified final image seen by our eyes so we have the simple microscope and the compound microscope thank you